I know there's a good amount of people who don't like Sonic Lost World for a number of reasons. I used to be someone who, in all honesty, put Lost World as my least liked Sonic game. I don't hate any Sonic game, but if I had to make a list of most liked Sonic games, Lost World would have been at the bottom. I'm sorry to say. However, things have changed with me. I decided one day to really sit down and dive deep into this game. I've never owned a Wii U, so I had to play it on PC, and I'm not even a PC gamer, so it was a little, little, little hard because the game kept crashing whenever I got to a certain part in the first stage, and I was like, what's going on? Apparently it was grassy textures or something. <sighs> but after a long one-on-one -on -one session with this game, I asked myself, why, why did I put this so low on my tier list, my personal mental tier list? Well, why do that? Well, you know, the game had some stuff going on with it. it, had a lot of new features, a lot of questionable mechanics, that's for sure. But after diving so deep into the game, I realized when you put this all together, it makes sense. And I'm about to tell you guys why. So my first look at this game, I thought it was just the Sonic game that wants you to go from point A to point B with extra steps. <laughs> and it's also slower. But that's just not the case. There's a way this game wants you to traverse, and I've never really been using it. It's the wall running. Now, of course, you'll use it eventually, but the thing is, you have to purposely use it. <laughs> now, what I mean by that is like you have to like go out of your way to go and use it to get to certain places that can get you shortcuts, the red star rings, more rings, free more animals. Once I started practicing it, that's when I realized how in-depth this game gets. When I mastered the art of wall running, the game has opened up to me. It felt like I was playing a whole new game. This mechanic is just so cool and important if you want to get through a stage quickly. But, speaking of quickly, everyone goes crazy with the fact that there's a run button. I did too at first, I'll admit that. It was a little jarring at first. It's a Sonic game, so why is there a run button? What I learned is that I don't need to run all the time. There are sections of this game where I really need to watch my step and be careful as I progress into later parts of the stage. Because if I die, I lose everything. Everything I've been working up towards, S rank, time trial, whatever, I lose it all. But we'll get to what I mean about that later. Point is, this is a Sonic game. Yes, we know that. But this is a Sonic game where platforming is extremely important and requires more precision than games like Generations or Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. By the way, believe it or not, Sonic can go pretty dang fast. Did you know there's a boost button? I ain't talking about the run button. Okay, well, it's not like the boost from Unleashed or Generations, but it's pretty freaking fast. It's Sonic Spin Dash. And man, that blue guy is flying through stages with the Spin Dash, dude. Like, dude, freaking use the Spin Dash in Lost World and see what I'm talking about. You can also keep your Spin Dash as a jump from one place to another. So like your Spin Dash and jump, keep a hold of that Spin Dash, you just Spin Dash some more. It's like, dude, you just keep that speed. It's freaking awesome. It's crazy how fast you can go and not slow down with it. This leads me to my biggest feature that's grabbed me. Time trials. s rings are in this game for stages, but not in a regular stage run. You have to go to the time trial mode for the stage. And let me tell you something, the times are strict. If you want an s rank, you need to master that stage, master that game, master Sonic. Everything you've learned about this game is needed to reach those s rank times. It's a hard challenge, but of course, your boy did it. You know, I got all s ranks. I'm an s rank hunter after all. Come on now. No s rank's too hard for me. Dare I say though, this is the hardest Sonic game to get S ranks in. Maybe Sonic Lost World on the 3DS might be harder, but Lost World, it takes the cake either way, 3DS or PC. Speaking of which, the 3DS version, I've played that day one since I didn't have a PC or a Wii U during launch day. I'm not going to talk about that version since it's an entirely different beast, but that was my first experience with uh, Sonic Lost World, so, you know, fun fact. So the question I bring to all of you is this. Does Sonic Lost World really suck in the eyes of all of you? Or do you think maybe you need to dive deep, learn more about the movement the game requires, master it, and then maybe that'll change your mind about it? 
Maybe that'll open up a new path in life. I don't know. Maybe it'll make you think like, man, this game's really fun when you figure it all out. At the end of the day, you like what you like, you hate what you hate. My community is full of both sides. What matters is that everyone's honest with their opinions. And I always appreciate that. So tell me in the comment section how you feel about Lost World, whether it be PC, Wii U, or 3DS. I don't know what that was. Have an S-ranked day. I'll catch you all next time. Stay blue, guys.